Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys something. Well, first, first we'll go to the website of what we're trying to uh, reproduce. Ah, uh, yes, six microseconds of protein folding. So this is a chicken villain headpiece uh, protein. Uh, I'm not really sure what it does. Maybe we should, we should look into that, but look at this. So they have a simulator and they start with the protein unfolded. So I'm not even sure how you, uh, how you get a protein unfolded. We're going to look into that. We've been learning a lot of biology. We've been learning about amino acids. Um, we've been reading molecular biology of the cell sixth edition. It tells you many good things. Um, you learn all about proteins. You learn about the different amino acids. I know what a peptide bond is right now. Um, I know what a side chain is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got to know these things. Um, amino acids have an amino and a carboxyl. So let's take a look here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see this is this is four amino acids. Uh, put together, you start with a met, you know, because that's that's the start codon, uh, and then you have these peptide bonds, which this is the amino side and this is the carboxyl side. You can see that it fits in. The side chains are alternating from side to side, but that's not really true. You can actually rotate this stuff however you want. Um, please turn up mic. You can turn the mic up. Let me make sure we got the right mic on, first of all. Yeah, we got the first mic. Let me turn the gain up a little bit for you guys. Is that better? Got a little more gain on that mic? Uh, yeah, well, you guys know I'm part-time at Comma AI now. Um, all right, we'll take, we'll take half a second to shill for Comma. Uh, not to be confused with this comma AI, this comma AI. Um, we are now a profitable company, uh, so that's very exciting. Um, okay, yeah, yep, our inventory went up as well. Uh, true profitability, guys. Um, it's a really good feeling. Uh, yeah, and I'm done with my I'm done with my four years of vesting, so it's pretty nice. Um, because I mean, what exactly do you do, right? Um, it's interesting. I've been looking at all these startups doing layoffs, uh, and you know, it's it's last in first out. Um, so the people who got just recently got hired are the first ones to get fired. But you know basically all you're left with at that point is you're going to be left with executives and middle managers. Uh, I think these companies are firing the people who did the real work and now you're going to have, well, executives and middle managers. Uh, so we at Comma, we do it differently. Um, I think both executives and middle managers are stupid. Everybody at Comma is an engineer. Uh, so yeah, now uh, Comma.bio, where we're going to fold proteins. Um, startup employees are more risk than the founder. Well, if you have a founder that takes less risk than your startup employees, you're at a startup that's, I mean, these, this is that's practically criminal. You know, I see, I see these startups, I see these founders who take VC money and they pay themselves $400,000 salaries. It's disgusting. It's really, it's really disgusting. Um, so I, I, my salary comma is $78,000. Um, and that's the highest it ever was, was 80. Uh, you, you can't do that. You can't, if, if you as a founder are taking less risk than your startup employees, uh, there's something seriously wrong with your company. Um, yeah, so no, as a, as a startup employee, you should definitely have uh, have less risk than a founder. You should be, you should be paid a higher salary. Um, the, so again, a lot of startups scam with this, right? So a lot of, they'll put restrictions on employee equity. Um, and you know, a lot of times employees don't even really know about this. 
So at Comet, it's the other way around. Uh, the restrictions are on transfer of my equity, not transfer of any employee equity. Uh, I'm muted. I don't think I'm muted. Um, so yeah, if you're at a startup where the founders are taking less risk than the employees, you're you're they're scammers. I mean, they're scammers. Uh, a lot of the VCs are scammers too. Remember that VCs don't actually uh, produce any value. Um, it's not their money that they're investing. The VCs just scam LPs. Um, the LPs a lot of times don't care, like the Louisiana Pension Fund. You know, again, the Louisiana Pension Fund isn't being managed by the cops and firefighters who it'll pay out. Uh, the Louisiana Pension Fund is, of course, being managed by um, corrupt politicians uh, who I'm sure line their pockets when the pension fund goes up. And when the pension fund goes down, oh, hey, hey, you fought fires in, uh, in the suburbs for 30 years, but no, sorry, they took your pension fund and they invested it in WeWork. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, what would you ask founders what their take-home salary is? Uh, I think founders should be paid the lowest of any employee at the startup. Um, if you're going to found a company and you're not doing it, uh, and you're not looking for the upside later on. Of course, the upside to founders is they do get a much larger share of the equity of the company. Um, so the, the upside on, on that side is, is, is much larger, right? But the risk is much larger, right? You want higher upside, you take higher risk, right? Um, when we do, uh, when we do uh, comp negotiations, you get a choice. You get a choice between, well, like usually it's three tiers. You want like more salary or you want, you want salary equity or you want salary equity and you can choose. Um, so what's the highest the average founder should make at an un well yeah i mean in an unprofitable company you shouldn't be paying above uh you should actually probably be paying below market right um well no i mean look look right now you're seeing with all of these large companies you're seeing uh you're seeing them all get bailed out by the government when they just spent the last two years doing stock buybacks and making their executives rich, right? So where's that money coming back from the executives into the business? Well, of course that doesn't exist, right? Um, yeah, I mean, how, how are stock, how is this, how is this legal? Uh, how are we letting, uh, how do we as a country let this happen? Time to start fixing things, boys. Time to start fixing things. Uh, I know OBS is being shown. I, I, I have the same screen. What would I be doing if comma doesn't work? Uh, I don't, I have money. Um, you know why I have money? Because I don't buy anything. Uh, I don't really spend money on anything. So if you don't really spend money on anything, you have money, it's cool. No hack the box. Uh, I do get paid the least in comma, yeah. Yeah, if, if you're a founder of a startup, you should be paying, getting paid the same as... Uh, how much do I make? I make $78,000 a year. You should spend on financial advisors and lawyers and do an IPO. Fuck that. Uh, so if you want to take a company public, um, so an IPO um, is, uh, is done through investment banks. Usually the way that you do an IPO is you get an investment bank to agree to purchase a certain amount of your shares. I never want those kind of people, the investment bank kind of people, anywhere near any company I have a stake in. Uh, now you have some other options. Um, you could do DPOs, but if you still want to get listed on a major exchange, you're going to have to do the same, uh, the same S1 rigmarole. Uh, you're giving basically uh, control of your company up, and you, you may not want to do that. Um, so if you do want to go public uh, for there to be a liquidity event, 
there's a bunch of cleaner ways to do it, I think. And I think they're going to become more obvious. Um, sure, we had the 2017 crypto ICO scam phase, but it kind of let a genie out of the bottle that isn't going to be put back in. Um, I think that it's going to become much cheaper for companies to effectively sell their shares to the public. And you see things trending this way. You see like, you see Reggae, you see the Jobs Act. Um, and yeah, like ideally, I mean, my dream, uh, you know, I don't want to violate any laws, but my dream would just be to turn every share of common into a token, into an ERC-20 token, and then it can trade on uh, whatever exchanges. If you don't think 78K is a lot, then you're privileged. Well, so 78K is uh, less than anybody else at the company gets paid. Uh, our starting salaries are 80. Anti CEO cookbook. All right, just 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 because we've been been on a rant. We're gonna take a look. Oh, it's a TED talk. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I'm disgusted already. Anti CEO playbook that provide that prioritizes people over profits. No, no profits are a good thing. Um, profits, if you have a company that's profitable, the way that you make a company profitable is you provide a good or a service to other people voluntarily, right? A profitable company is good. An unprofitable company is bad. When you have a company that takes investment money and then pays the founders $400,000 salaries, that's bad. Because right? that's not benefiting anybody. That's just benefiting people for being connected. What do you mean by people should come over profits? Right? Whenever I see arguments like that, I see, I see the same thing on the other side, right? I say, oh, well, we need to, you know, oh, everybody needs a living wage. Well, I mean, says who, right? Everybody should be paid fairly for the value they can provide and create. Um, but that's like what the, you know, doesn't that like make obvious sense? Oh, we have the... You're paid based on how easy you are to be replaced. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm generally I'm generally anti TED Talk. Um, and I'm anti TED Talk because a lot of TED Talks, instead of actually giving you any real information, there's real information, and then there's something that like lights up the part of your brain that says you're getting information. Right? News does this too, uh, and it's the presentation style of TED Talks. They're so overly like it's. And when I say these things, words will appear on the screen, right? And you, you use this almost fake, profound accent. Um, yeah, it, it, people should be paid for their value. And if a company's not profitable, how... Uh, level one, woo, let's get on the hype train. Yeah, TED Talks are fake enlightenment. What do I make of the Zoom situation? I don't know anything about the Zoom situation. Uh, oh, it's nice to be on, be on the hype train. Um, don't you deserve more than your employees just because you're so productive? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, how productive am I? But I do have more equity than, 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 uh, than everyone who works at Com. I have the most equity first in, you know, you get, you get more equity than everybody else. But, it, you know, on the flip side of that, I, you take the most risk, right? Um, I didn't learn this until really kind of it was too late, but um, what you're really giving the VCs uh, in exchange for the money is social capital. Um, VC is just a way of, of, of turning social capital into dollars. Uh, 
I don't know. I mean, yeah, given the alternatives, it might be a decent way to 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 fund uh, companies. But it's uh, it's it's uh, seeing the results that it's produced, especially recently. Uh, I think we can find better ways. You can't buy comma stock. Comma is a private company, uh, and we're not selling any. Um, if I'm not rich, would I still pay myself $78,000? Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't spend more than $78,000 a year. I'm, I'm, that's, that's about, that's about break even for me. Um, and I'm spending money on things that, like, I have to pay for this apartment. I don't really have to pay for this apartment. Um, No, equity, so equity can matter in a bunch of ways without a company going public. Um, so you can pay dividends. Uh, dividends are an option. Um, not to be confused with stock buybacks. Very different. Uh, you can potentially uh, sell your equity on a, on a private market. You, you, can, uh, you can go public or you can get acquired. Um, is there a reason I, why would I want to be CEO? What do you think CEO is do? Why don't I need to pay for the apartment? I do, I do pay for the apartment. I don't have to, I could go live somewhere cheaper. All right, time to start doing, uh, I wouldn't live in a cardboard box, but I don't know, I mean, uh, it'd kind of be nice to live with roommates again. Um, I like living with roommates for the most part. Uh, I got this because I wanted to focus on, on comma being profitable. And uh, yeah, I moved here about 10 months ago and we had our first profitable quarter. Okay. So this is a chicken villain headpiece uh, protein. I think I spelled it right. Yeah, villain. All right, let's look up what villain is first so we have some, some context. Okay. Tissue-specific actin binding protein associated with the actin core bundle of the brush border. Oh, this is going to be a big Wikipedia rabbit hole. Proteins that bind to actin. Actin is a family of globular multifunctional proteins that form microfilaments. That become part of the cytoskeleton, eh? Wow. Oh. Alright, what's a brush border? Microvillies. Oh, the helix domain of the headpiece. Alright, so ours is a little bit smaller than that. Made up of seven domains, wow. Super villain. Okay. Well, that's what villain is. Uh, so I've already got it here. Um, I downloaded the protein PDB and actually committed it last night in preparation for this stream. Uh, so we can get the visualizer up here. Can load up the protein. So this is what it looks like, but this is what it looks like already folded. When you download it from the protein database, it already comes folded. So if we don't want it folded, 
what we're going to have to do is we're just going to get the... Uh... Well, actually, you know what? Let's just use our translator and let's get it from DNA. Genomic coordinates. So I did find that if I go in to my proteins villain and then I load it up, we can get the amino acids right here. So I could just use them from this. Met looser, asp glue, asp fee. Um, ideally, now what we want to do is we want to build a framework. So we've already done, remember, um, translation. Oh, no, sorry. Transcription turns RNA into proteins. But it doesn't turn it into proteins. It just turns it into a strand of amino acids. In order to turn those amino acids into proteins, we're going to have to fold them. Um, that doesn't look useful. And in order to fold them, we're going to need... A, uh, well, I mean, that's, you know, a hard problem. But I think we can do it with a molecular dynamic simulator. Oh, here we go. Here's something. It's too long, though. Okay, we'll just use this. We'll just copy it here. Wait, there's two Mets in here? How can you have two Mets? Oh, you can have more star codons as long as you don't have a stop codon. Oh, I see. I get it. Google this and see what we get. Membrane receptor, eh? Go to gene view. Uh -huh. What's this? It's in chromosome two. The chicken chromosome two? high enough. Zoom in. Oh, now we're there. Alu sucks. Sequence name. Full protein view. Oh, it's part of this big protein. Mm. I don't know. Oh, faster sequence. Oh, I think this is what I want. Okay, I'll take it. I'll stick it in the villain directory. Other FASTA sequences? And did I stick TXT at the end of it? I did not. Hmm. 
Okay, so this is actually already after it's been translated into amino acids, and they use the letters as desired. People call this, whoops, call this protein FASTA. Actually, no, don't I actually have a, oops. Oh, I added one more resource today while I was at work. But I forget what that resource was. Is GitHub still down? Oh yes, the Quark and Lab Wuhan. I was gonna look at this. Alignment, models of individual proteins, interviral, viral human, functional mapping. They're PDFs, we can read them. I don't know what that means. Model of viral interaction. I'll download all of the zip. All right. So we have the protein now. No, I wrote a library to read FASTA, didn't I? Did I not write a library to read FASTA? I thought I did. In data and net. Great. Who cares? Perfect. Uh, is that 36? This is a 36 amino acid protein. Okay. So this and this are the same thing. The only difference is this one is already folded. So I mean, we can probably check that. Met, Lou. Sir, now whatever D is is going to be next. Oh, ASP? What? It shouldn't be ASP. Is it different? No, it can't be different. They wouldn't do that to me. Wait, Matt Lucer, ASP, glue, ASP. Oh, is it possible that D is ASP? D is ASP, oh, I get it. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Um, so now we're gonna have to write something which turns FASTA into protein. This might already exist. Now, of course, it's not actually gonna fold the protein for me. Ah. No, I don't. The amino acid system cannot be translated into a structure that easily. Yeah, I know why you don't think that, but. PDB format is not sequence, it is structure. You must have your structure experimentally solved or have your structure predicted by iPasser. So I looked into what iPasser was a little bit. By the way, if you guys want something to, to follow along, with how I've been thinking about this. Uh, this is how I've been doing this. I'm not going to the New York Times as GitHub. Iterative threading assembly refinement. Yeah, and then you read this. Like it first generates, first identifies structural templates on the PDB by multiple threading approach LOMETs. Then it goes through BioLip. So ITASR seems to be this like incredibly complex. I mean, I guess we can just see what happens. Oh no, I have to give them an email. That's too much effort. But this still isn't what I want. 
I want to put this in a line. <sighs> okay. So this is the structure. And you have your mets and your stuffs. The thing is, hmm. I mean, okay. Let's just try something. See if this works. PDB file is for OpenMM, not for PyTrash. Oh, look! It's a Methinones! Who likes the Methinone? Now, the problem is they knew exactly how far apart to put all these things. I don't really know how far apart to put them. So we're gonna try an experiment here. We're doing science, boys. Um, we have a Langevian integrator. Set positions, minimize energy. Hold set positions on a context with the wrong number of positions. Oh, because I didn't reinitialize the system. No template found for residue one met. Number of atoms is similar, but it's missing six atoms. Oh. Well, let's try to figure out why it's missing six atoms. I mean, it sure looks like it has a lot of atoms to me. Don't you all think? Let's just get the add hydrogens up. That's with respect to a force field. So we're gonna need a force field, so. We can use amber or we can use charm. They're both high quality force fields. No template found for residue one met. The set of atoms matches N met, but the bonds are different. But it worked okay when I loaded it the other way. All right, this is probably still just complaining because I don't have the. Do I need the end carboxylic group on there? I don't think the term matters at all. No template found for residue one met. A set of atoms matches N met, but the bonds are different.
We got a long way to go, boys. We got a long way to go. All right. Um, let's figure out what this PDB format is. First, let's look at a mat. Where's a mat? Methiones. So we have an N. I don't know if we have those H's. One, two, three, four, five, five carbons. That's a carbon, two, three, four, five carbons. Okay, that seems right. We have one oxygen. We have one sulfur. Oh, we only have one oxygen or do we have two oxygens? Oh, we only have one oxygen. Okay, well, my methione needs more oxygen. Maybe give it an oxed. That fixes it. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, who put that oxygen all the way out there? That was a stupid place to put the oxygen. No template found for residue one met. It means your input topology. Okay, so we can look at the amber, the amber thingy. somewhere, didn't I? Probably coronavirus? No. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, we're using Amber 99 SB, and we want to make mats. Not a C mat, just a mat. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's get rid of that because I think that was wrong. The set of atoms matches N met, but the bonds are different. Oh, there's an external bond. I see. It's an N met. An N met has an external bond from 17. Are C mets and mets the like does it mean like a starting met? And how come that's not a C mat? Oh, I kind of think you can't have okay, fine, 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 fine. We'll have a met and a loo. I think because you can't just it complains if you have a one amino acid. I think the starting ones are special, so. Oh look, we have a met and a loo now. Wow, that's a fancy looking protein. What do you think of my two amino acid protein? The atoms match loo, but the bonds are different. Perhaps the chain is missing a terminal group. Okay, so that seems right. Wait, 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 there's C and there's N. Oh, I think that's actually a thing. C, N, amino acid. What am I thinking of? There's the five end and the three end. I know that. Well, C looks like the end because it has an oxed. Let's just take a look in my bio textbook here. Yeah, methionies don't have an oxed, but if I put an oxed at the end of my, uh, my thingy, that seems good. All right, so let's get my oxed out. Well, they just stuck it there. Oh, should I stick it there as well? Should I stick it above the hydrogens? Do I also need a CZ? Is that only at the end? No, a bunch of CZs. I don't know. Let's just try this and see what we get. It's a loo. We put an ox on the loo. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay, of course my ox is going to be in a stupid place. Look at that oxygen all the way out there. That's so far away from everything else. Oh. Yeah, buddy. All right, now let's try, let's run the simulation for a few steps 
And what we're gonna see is does the, uh, does that oxygen like stay far away or does it come back? Okay, let's just change that to that so you can see. Oh wow, I really got that Langevian integrator turned up. Let's turn it down a little bit. Potential energy, lots of kidules. All right. Whoa, hey look, the oxygen came back. I wonder if minimize it, oh no, I probably just didn't even save the first step. Let's save every step and let's just go for uh, 10 steps. Oh, look, the oxygen came back, where's the ox? Yeah, look at that ox, look, it came back. Wait, that's a weird place to put it. They're both attached to that same carbon. Maybe on a loo. Oh, here's a loo. Oh, yeah, yeah, they both go on the tar carboxyl terminus. Wow. But remember how I put it in a stupid place and then it showed up here? Oh, that's nice. Let's get rid of the minimize energy and see if that was what was actually doing it. Oh, look, it crashed. Oh, yeah, that oxygen went flying. But if we first minimize energy... Okay. So let's try something else now. And actually it'd be nice because I think we could just do this on the protein if this works. I take my model of positions and they're like positions. Oh, that's nice. Wow, this might be a, this might be a short stream. Thank you for the subscriptions. Um, we overflowed the... Honestly, guys, you know what I would do if I was on the coronavirus task force. I wouldn't want to be the front face. I wouldn't want to be the guy. Uh, I wouldn't want to be the guy telling people about the plan, but you all know what the plan should be. It's not great, but. Um, let's see, modeler.positions.shape. List has no attribute shape, of course, list has no attribute shape. Len modeler dot position. So we're gonna try putting them all at zero zero zero. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna say for X and range just so I make sure I don't get the same one. Hmm. I don't know where this is work. Particle coordinate is nan. Oh, that's sad. Don't make it nan. Oh. I mean, part of the problem might have to do with the fact that I didn't tell it my shit was nanometers, but maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. It looks kind of similar to that. Quantity value equals zero, position unit equals nanometer. I guess about position. Right? No, yeah, now we're talking. Particle coordinate is nan. Mm. Um, okay, maybe it just doesn't like them all being on top of each other. Random.random? Oh, sweet. Look at that, it becomes a proteiny again. Yeah, let's see if they go to different confirmations. Oh, so exciting. So exciting, this is so exciting. Okay, let's try, wait, I don't understand why it didn't save 20 steps. So it did save 20 steps, just nothing happened. Let's 
try a little bit more. I wait for it to warm up a little bit. Got to warm up my protein a little. Warm it up a little bit more than that. Warm up my protein. Oh, that should make it nice and warm. Oh, that's a quality looking protein. All right. Wait, so let's just try it. I mean, this unfolded thing is stupid. I don't actually need that. Let's just take the protein PDB and then we'll do zero positions on it. Let's see what we get. No, it's Nan. Oh. Oh, it's only Nan once we're stepping. Let's not step so much. Let's only step 20. Whoa, it's my protein, but it's all unfolded like that. I don't know. I think that looks pretty good. Look at that, it's a randomly folded chicken headpiece or villa headpiece or whatever, whatever. Um, all right, let's save a few more steps and let's see if we can do that without it going NAN. It goes NAN just like crappy machine learning models. All right, let's see my protein fold. Folding, folding, folding. Oh, it's folding way too slowly. I don't have that kind of patience. Fold faster. Folding, folding, folding. Oh. Is it not warm enough? What temperature does chicken head piece fold at? Oh, look at that. Look at that potential energy going down. That means my shit's folding. Folding, 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 folding. Oh, this is fun. Oh, we're folding. All right, just to prove that we didn't cheat at all, let me just write the thing that actually like uh, creates that file. You know, that creates that unfolded file. Because otherwise, like we don't know, information could be leaking. But we want to turn amino acid sequences into proteins that we fold. Angus Cupcake, thank you for subscribing. Oh, we got a lot of people in here. Y'all like folding. All right. So I think we're gonna to get to a point pretty soon where we're gonna just need to throw a lot of computation at this. We might already be at that point. Hmm, folding, folding, folding. Let's go 50 here, let's go 30,000. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, this is a long thing. Where'd my folding go? Here's my folding. Folding, 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 folding. All right, well, we should figure out how long we expect to have to do this for before it folds. Oh, look at it, trying to fold. Oh, I really, it wants to fold, boys, it wants to fold. We can open up the common GPU cluster. We can do that. We have these options available to us. Folding, folding. Oh, look at that. Look at that protein. Oh, it's a beautiful protein. I mean, it's not a... Yeah, ooh, is it gonna start to form its alpha helices? I learned about these by reading a bio textbook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's work out how many steps we should have to simulate it for. So I've heard that this thing folds in 
five microseconds. Villain headpiece folding time. Four to five microseconds. Okay, so let's say five microseconds divided by that much picoseconds. What? No, that's not what I want. I want you to give me a number in... That's stupid, I canceled out the... Oh, yeah, I put the parentheses. There we go. Okay, so we're, I mean, we're off by, we're off by a couple, uh, you know, orders of magnitude here. That's how many steps we gotta do. That's a lot of steps. 250, how many more steps is that than what we already did? Wow, proteins take a long time to fold, boys. Ugh. We knew this, though. We knew this, though, and we should be prepared for it. First up, you get a little too amped from the Red Bull. Too amped from the Red Bull, it's time to have an apple. An apple is a good way to balance out being too amped from Red Bull. Yeah, so I'm folding on my GPU right now. Oh no, it went man. Wait, is negative potential energy good? I don't know. Not shape. Alright, so now I think it's too big and then it doesn't save. See, look, this time the initialization is totally different. These are in a totally different range. More negative means deeper in the potential well. Is that where we want to be or where we don't want to be? We can check in a minute what my folded protein has. Uh-oh. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Okay, it's not even connected. Look at that. Wow, that's really shitty. Oh, that's the worst initialization I've seen in a long time. Who broke my protein? All right, let's try something. We should also figure out if the amber SB is a good force field or not, or if we should try a different force field. All right, first let's see what, I, what happens when I put my already folded protein in. 
Oh wow, that's a lot of negative energy, you know? So negative energies is good. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I also, I scaled up my, my thingy here. Because I kind of think what happened is the thingy got caught on itself. Oh, that looks pretty good. Those are the right order of magnitude. When they had the ones that were like 10,000, it was doing badly. And I think we want to see this go down, right? Folding, folding. Oh, look, it's folding so good. Look, this used to be crappier, and now it's folding better. Woo! Folding, folding, folding. Okay. I think we're going to have to fold it for that many times more, though which isn't great. Or maybe we can just do less picoseconds here. How many picoseconds can I make my Langevian integrator and have it still work? Mm -hmm. mm. Look at it, it's trying to fold. It's trying to fold, boys. Max two femtoseconds? Oh no, I'm already at the max. Is that two femtoseconds? Wow, femtoseconds, that's not many seconds at all. Damn, electrodynamics is hard. No, okay, okay. I see. Well, all right, first thing, before we're going to figure out how to make our foldings go faster. I don't know. How long did that take? I'm going to try to Python time it. To import time. All right, while this is folding, we can uh, write the thingy to parse this. Well, first off, do I want to use amber or do I want to use some other one? I have an idea some of them are faster than others, too. It's not straightforward to say which one is best. I hate when that's true. Oh, look at those big negative numbers. Oh, this has to be a good one. I think it almost folded. Even if it's long, you should write your own. What, write my own molecular dynamics simulator? We'll get there, we'll get there. We can't just watch the proteins not fold. Um, let's go back to FOSTA and this. Oh yeah, we were figuring out which force field. Um, there was a, one of those papers that I posted last night talked about, they had a paper where they folded proteins correctly. Let's just figure out which force field they used. Oh, I was talking about that and the issues. A 
flurry of force field related development. Here. When folding simulations with a diverse typologies. Oh. Look at these proteins. They folded them. That's so cool. Which force field did they use? Oh. And it didn't work for Nug2. Pairwise variants of the generalized Born model. Oh. Wow, Cardi B knows about this? I'm a graduate and make excuses. The same. What was that? Yeah, I don't go to the Bronx, man. You stay in Manhattan, go to Brooklyn, go to Queens. You only go to Staten Island if you're going to Brooklyn and you're going to cross the Gothels and the Verrazano. And I think one guy went to the Bronx once, but it was just to go to the zoo. Um, okay, well, I don't think that's what they meant by GBMV2. Oh, here we go. FF. Oh, they the amber. Okay, I think I'm using that amber. Oh, performance is good. Oh, that sounds sweet. Okay, then this force field sounds good enough. We can use it. This was 2009. They haven't made better ones yet. I don't know. I'm happy with it. Is not callable. Oh, mini dom dot parse. Okay, cool. I was excited about our amber. There we go. Beautiful.
these are the atom types. Oh, they have masses. Oh, that's cool. Charges, atom types. So oh, much. Right. Um, how do I use a mini DOM document? Get elements by tag name. Document objects, not subscript. Children? Child nodes, eh? Okay, that's my force field. Uh, child nodes. Okay. Residues? So these are atom types. Okay, they're residues. Actually, can I just say get elements by tag name residue? Perfect. Okay, so the residues are the different uh, different shits. So we're gonna. Okay, what do I do with the DOM element? DOM value. Residues, that's what they call amino acids or something. Okay. Get on by tag name Adam. Oh, okay, good. We can get the atoms. Uh, how do I get the name of the residue? equals is it attributes name yes it is attributes name value perfect ace all right we do have to turn those letters into those thingies um for r in residues turn these fastas letters into these but I think we can just turn these into these. How do I do that? I mean, I could type it in, but I do hate typing. But highlighted so much nicer than that one. Whatever. All right, wants to have fun deleting it. It's gonna be faster than the other choice. That wasn't too bad. wants to see some magic. Let me see if I can do this. LP dot split on that. And then we want to say LP equals dick zip. LP one quote quote two zero quote quote two LP. LP is not defined. Oh, there we go. Gotta love data processing, bros. Let's put that in the bio lib. Um, uh, 
Uh, what are those things called? We'll just call them LTL for letter or three letter. should add this all to the library actually let's call it uh, to not to amber I will keep writing it in here for now okay so we have the atoms um, So who's ready to do this? Oh, for AA, because it's an amino acid in FASTA, we want to go LTL AA. Uh, we probably want to go upper on that. So let's just call it uh, TL, because it's a three letter. Print TL, okay, now these should all be in Adam's keys. We're gonna have to be a little careful, because the last one we're gonna have to throw an ox on. But I think this should be okay for now. Adams TL. Oh yeah, beautiful. Uh, too bad they're all shitty DOM elements. Let's take a look at a MET for now. Hate DOM elements, you know? Let's figure out what we actually need from this. It does not have child notes. Okay, what does an atom have? An atom has a name and a type. Okay, actually all we really need is the name. So we can just say what is an attribute subname dot value. Element has no attribute attribute. Oh no. I did it before, didn't I? Attribute song. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Um get elements by tag name. So we actually want to say x dot attributes name value for x and you know I may be terrible at bio but when you all see me do data parsing right yeah that data parsing Lana's got a blue check mark oh yeah she's more famous than me I'm gonna be on Raya soon though I think did my, did my Raya invite go through yet my friend invited me to Raya oh but I've heard I'm gonna hate Raya so there's that all right, so we got a lot of those thingies. Is what kind of gel? Who's new here? Who's being disrespectful? I'm being Raya. Don't be disrespectful. This is all about respect. This channel, we like respect. Uh, let's take a look at the villain, not the UBQ. No, 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 not the UBQ. No, not that protein. All right, let's take a look here. All right, we're going to have to figure out what all these little shits are. Um, What's this little shit? What's that little shit? I don't know. No, it's always A. And what are they separated by? Are these tabs? No, they're just spaces. That's weird. How do I know how many spaces? Maybe I can use, oh here, bio.pdb. PDB parser. Can I write PDB files? Dice model. Uh, 
Just looks kind of more complicated. Bio PDV might be exactly what you want, and then again, it might not. Why do they have a separate this bio Python thing? It's not very good. Okay. Atom records. Atom contains describes the alpha N atom as the first residue, which is a proline residue. Residue. Res, res, residue. Residue. Oh, those are in angstroms. They're not in nanometers. I know it's a residue. I'm not an idiot. The next three columns are the occupancy temperature factor. How do I get those? What's a temperature factor? Well, the occupancy is always one. That's easy. Crap, we have to know what type the atom is. Is that always the first? Looks like it's always the first letter. the temperature factor. Wait, who's saying someone else is acting like a douchebag? No, no, you're banned. You got a timeout. Be nice to people here. You're telling him about the vaccine? All right, all right. No spreading misinformation, Panguino. 
And see you later. Who thinks it works? We have to figure out what the temperature factor is. No. Oh, the uncertainty of this atom's position due to temperature. Ah, it doesn't matter, man. All right, cool. So now let's just write that PDB. Yeah, buddy. All right. Remember to follow and subscribe, boys. Sandriel, see, I, that's, these are the people I like in my channel. We got to subscribe because if we don't subscribe, why should I keep doing this? I only do it for the money because I'm a whore. That's right. Um. Now we do it for the learning and we bring you guys because occasionally some of you say intelligent things. You need the topology, bro? Bro, I actually don't need the topology because we're gonna fold it with a folding. Um, make sure to load the correct topology file name. Oh, that's fine. I don't care. I understand why you thought, you think I need the, uh, the topology, but what if I do that one? Wait a second. How did this work before? Remember when I stuck just the one amino acid in and it did something? I don't know, whatever. We'll get to that crap later. Uh, let's for now just try this. This is kind of a messy file, we should clean it up. List index out of range. It's out of range. 
The amount of spaces could actually matter. Oh God. Okay, fine. How many spaces is that? Seven. Okay. All right. Now, how many spaces for the next one? Oh, but what about when it's like that? I don't know how to do that. Four. Three for that. Is that better? This looks more like columns. Misaligned residue name. Great. line to me. Oh. It wants another space there. Stop fix that. What? Is it mad because of the HDs? Is that what it's mad about? Like I have to like put them stupidly like that? I don't even know how to do that. Oh, okay, I do not do that. Never mind. Fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, if a plain a is less than four. PA set no paste. Almost PA equals A. P equals space plus A. Leave that as minus four. Change that A to PA. in front of it. Does that not work? Oh, is it because I'm doing minus four or something? Or minus three? One indent doesn't match any outer indentation level. Are there tabs in here? Still slightly wrong because I think we do want the minus four. Yeah, minus four is correct. Okay, now my thing you look stupid like that too. Does it load now? Misaligned residue name. Who knows how to fold? All right, I'm listening. Bro, this is why PDB sucks. Yeah, I agree that PDB sucks. All right, well, I don't know. Let's just compare my atoms to these atoms and say exactly what's different. We'll just make it match perfectly. Oh my God, that's not what I wanted. I don't, I don't know why I can't control. 
control A there. That's frustrating. Can I control E? Control E works, just not control A. It's like some Mac crap. Okay. Oh, well, as you can see, mine is aligned one off of theirs. So if we change that seven to a six, and then we try it again. Ooh, could not convert string to float. Oh, look at that. Oh, we know, okay, okay, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning. Okay, um, well that's good to know, so 38. I think my water's boiling. Do I make research before I do this one? Change these, let's just do it right. Was it 5.3f? Sorry, it's 8.3f. That might still be wrong because we might want to just make them right up against each other. Uh, okay. Well, I can add one to this. 3D. And I still want to add another space here, I think. This is the worst file format ever, and whoever did this should really be, you know. Um, who did this and why? Like, 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 right here, this file format is showing me that there's a lot of room for, you know, someone to come in who knows things about computers to come disrupt this space. Gotta know things about computers. Alright, um, I gotta get rid of my spaces. Okay, we're gonna need another space before that. We need another one point two spaces, one point oh oh. And then a lot of spaces and a string. Did I get my lot of spaces right? Probably not. Oh, my lot of was there a lot of one more than my lot of. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, what a good quality format that was. Oh, perfect. Okay, it loads. Let's see, does that even work? Oh yeah, look. But aside from the fact that there's nothing there, it works great. Um, but now I think my modeler is gonna complain when I try to add hydrogens. Zero, zero can't be raised to a negative power, eh? Is it not like zero? No, let's just do random. Um... 
The Adam's match fee, but all right, we're gonna need to shove an ox at the end of this. Um, wait. Why are we only up to fee? Is there another fee? Yeah, there's a fee all the way at the end. Okay, cool. Like that has an oxed, and mine does not have an oxed. How'd they get more atoms than me? I don't even know. I don't think their atoms started at one. No template found. The bonds are different. Perhaps the chain is missing a terminal group. That's true. Uh, okay. We'll just say plus I cook my macaronis for? Was it too long? Might have been too long. It's edible. All right, we threw an ox on the end of that. That's pretty good. For those guys at home who are following, I'll show you what an ox is. Because I've been learning bio. This guy here, or the one with the single bond, is an ox. All right. Now that we've added an ox, does it load? It loads! Of course, we still can't look at it. Um, but this should just work if I do that. Particle position is NAN. Okay, it has a few NAN issues. Um, oh, random not random actually isn't what I want. Uh, I want random not random minus. Let's just do it. can't see anything, but that's okay. Sorry, this is a mess. Cool. Oh, 
Okay, we got a protein back. I don't know why it has so much potential energy. What are the four model types in designing an RVBMS? Well, you got to have atomicity, compliance, integrity, and data. Isn't that what the asset model for databases is? I don't know. I learned that once. Okay. So now we have our step. Delete some of this crap that we don't need. Do not need that. This belongs up here. We do not need this. We don't need that, and we don't need that. Right unfolded is good. I'll commit right unfolded once it works. Um, 10,000 steps, Let's go there. Loads it up, adds the hydrogens, then we can look at it. No, no, we don't wanna look at temp unfolded. We want to look at temp output. Also, where did I get FOSTA from? I love doing science. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's let it fold for a little bit and see what we get. No, don't think I'm stuck in local mems. This is nature. And if it gets stuck in local mins, then so does nature. All right, we'll put it on a GPU in a minute. Now, nah, Bill, a simple boy. Um, what's next? I don't know. That's for the next stream. If this stream we managed to fold a villain, that's a great victory. Okay, it's doing something. How I have GPU in a MacBook? OpenCL, bro. MacBooks have GPUs. I just don't have NVIDIA GPUs. Because of Apple's beef with NVIDIA. I think that actually goes back to the Jobs era. I think Steve Jobs got pissed that like NVIDIA did a bad job soldering their GPUs or like the soldering recommendation they gave Apple was wrong and there were broken MacBooks and like NVIDIA didn't pay for it and Jobs was like, all right, we're never using NVIDIA again. See, look, we can look at the atoms too. Yeah, I'll use Jupyter Hotkeys one of these days. You think I missed file naming? Why? Oh, you're right, I did. No, you're right, you're right, that's a bug in my library. Good catch. So this is why we have streamers. This is why we do it live. So you guys can all witness. Little mistake. Bummed OpenCL is going to get depreciated. We'll see what actually happens. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't 
don't know. In general, I think when Apple depreciates things, it's usually good for the industry. Okay. So we worked out how much do we have to do? Oh, we have to do so many steps. Um, well, so I, I wrote this last night, and this is just fold. So we'll do writing from scratch here. You can just read, this is already committed. No template found for residue group met. I, mean, I don't understand. This is literally the same thing that I was doing before, right? What changed? is actually giving me that command under force field create system all right do I have to add the hydrogens or something I'll try adding some hydrogens seems better all right cool I forgot some hydrogens all right oh look at that going down This isn't what I want to say. How many outputs do I want? Say I want 100. If I want 100, then we put steps divided by 100 here. Yeah, that's right. And for this one, we'll do something like this. Steps divided by, and we'll do 100 as well. Should we write an arg parse so this can actually Let's FaceTime in Bill Gates. Yo, if anyone has Bill Gates' number, we'll FaceTime him in. I'm sold. Mm. What's the water model being used? So, I mean, that is kind of a good question. I think this is the water model, but I didn't actually add solvent. We can try to add solvent and see what happens. I think that's one of the options. But last time you complained about being charged. I don't know what that means. But all right, so that was the folding job we just did.
do a thousand here and does it still work? Twenty-six Celsius is right. Twenty-seven is two seventy-three Kelvin to zero Celsius. Look at it fold. It's going down. It didn't get faster. <laughs> I just printed out more stuff. Okay, 1,000 works. All right, who's ready to push this to a GPU? Um, This computer has a few GPUs in it. It only has it has a Titan V, so that's a nice GPU, right? Titan V, nice GPU. All right, we have big fold. Let's fold the CUDA visible devices equals zero. Let's see how fast that is. Is it faster? Oh, it's so fast now. CUDAs. All right. Let's go. a little too much. All right, let's first try. <coughs> let's fall. So it's gonna fold for a thousand of those steps. Well, that's gonna take a long time. Can I look at the output in the meantime? Probably. Wow, it's really going all over the place. My protein is folding! Big kudas! Now this is just my desktop at work. This isn't a cluster yet. I don't know how well OpenMM works with multiple GPUs, but we can try Gromax as well. Gromax is another option. Let's see if we can find any stuff. Gromax versus OpenMM speed. Gomax, open MM. Oh, do what? Oh. Well, 
kind of old ass GPUs are these? Gromax CPU versus GPU. No, don't use NAND, whatever you do. <coughs> Does anybody use OpenMMs or is it just too slow? We're folding. Let's see. Did it fold yet, you think? Yeah, no more. No false information. We don't spread false information around here. People are getting banned left and right on the internet for spreading false information, you know? Oh, fun fact. Remember how I denied all, um, like, of the conspiracy theories? I mean, I definitely deny the conspiracy theories that it's like some bioweapon attack, but um, this is real, so yeah. <clears throat> Corona may have 200 million atoms. I don't think it has 200 million atoms. Corona has 30K base pairs, so like 10K amino acids. And then like every amino acid has on average like, I don't know, 10 atoms. So it's like 100,000 atoms. Those are lower numbers. Seems like it's doing something, maybe. Look, it's like trying to fold, guys. It wants to fold. It's like, I'm a protein and I want to fold. If this is a problem with my solvent or my force field, I'm never going to fix it. I don't know. 20 to 30 atoms for protein. That's probably more right. It's not for protein, it's for amino acid. Oh, we can count them. I think that's more right. I think we just did it. <coughs> the whole virus is like 10,000 amino acids. So it's like 200. So you're off by a factor of 1,000 there. Let's see what theirs looked like. Six microseconds, wow. That's so many microseconds. Yeah, look, it flops around and does nothing in theirs as well for a while. Yeah, look at it flop around, do nothing for a while, and then it gets better. Oh man, if we see some coils appear, oh, how exciting will that be? Is that actually using my whole GPU, or is that using like a tiny amount of it? Okay, it's using my whole GPU, 99%. That's pretty good. I mean, it's only using 59 watts, which I don't exactly understand. I 
They also have computers with eight GPUs. I don't know if that's better. Oh, look, 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 look. It's going down the energy landscape. Oh, that's cool. Up, oh, up. Oh, it's stuck in that local minima. Whoa. Oh, that's a cool video. That's where my protein is right now, just wiggling out there. But then I think once I ran it on the thing, it didn't show that it had less potential energy. I don't know. To the bottom of this panel, and you'll notice the extremely hydrophilic amino acids, arginine, glutamate, things of that nature. Our goal is to understand how a simple linear polymer produced by encoded by genetic design information can fold up depending on its sequence into a sophisticated catalyst or quantum machine or, or some other device that the, the vehicle needs in order to execute its life cycle. So let's begin with some basics. This is a slightly complicated table you might want to pause and look at, the, look at it at your leisure. It's what's called a hydropathy plot of the side chains of the acids. And we can measure their hydro hydropathy. Mm, I don't care. Uh, don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, My simulator knows this, so I don't have to. So what's happening here? Two very important things. Oh. Look, the numbers are going down, though. These numbers are way lower than they used to be. Stupidly wiggle around for a while. Oh, oh, look, that was almost uh, that was almost a helix thingy. No, that's a lie. It wasn't almost a helix thingy. Come on, fold. Game sucks. Okay, let's DD to delete it. Oh, I have to like click outside it. Yeah, like I don't get it. So this is the folded protein. How does the folded protein have like the same potential energy as mine? Mine actually has lower potential energy. If it is folded, though, it does pretty much seem to stay folded. Well, actually, I don't know. It doesn't even look like it's really staying folded. All right, let's improve the code.
factor of 100. And that took 16 minutes. 16 times 100 minutes. Okay, it'll fold in a day. That sounds pretty nice. Is that enough? Okay, well, this is the one chance we have to look at this protein not fold itself, despite massive amounts of computes being poured into making it fold. Did this one unfold? Wait, and also, did I write scratch? Oh, I did not write scratch. This one unfold? No, it seems like once it's folded, it's pretty stable. It's a little wiggly there, but now it looks the same. I do wonder what happens if I up the temperature. Wait a second. Do I need to make it warmer? They used amber. And they used a generalized born salvation model. How did they do it in 200 nanoseconds? That's so fast. Holding free energy at 300 Kelvins. Hmm. Can I use born? Born, what am I looking at? Uh, OpenMM. OpenMM supports all the generalized born models used by Amber. FFO3. Number row three. Quick parameters for water molecules. I'm creating a system for my prim top file. What's a prim top file? Oh, I turned off my non bonded interactions. I don't know if that matters. Oh, I see. Huh. 
How's this protein doing in the not unfolding department? It does not unfold. why my protein don't fold. Should we try to fold a corona protein? We had that corona protein, didn't we? The membrane protein? I was looking at it. That's the one I wanted to fold last time. These are too long. Which is the shortest corona? Untranslated envelope protein. That was pretty short. Try a coronavirus. Well, first, let's see quickly if my thingy wiggles around enough. It didn't fold, I'm sure. Yeah, it wiggles around a lot. Okay. Well, that's more atoms and stuff. So, this is a coronavirus envelope protein. Let's see if it falls. Particle position is NAN. Oh. Try again. Is there any way to mess with temperature in a dynamic way? I could. Particle position is nan. Well, that sucks. Um, well, let's try not many steps. What if I do one step? Division by zero. Because writing every zero steps. Um, what do I want to say? Max one comma steps nine brides. Your initial conditions fucking suck, bro. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that's. How do you want me to change them? Unless you're saying you want me to cheat. But, you know, I'm not a cheater, man. We can't, we can't already say how the protein's folded. That's just cheating. Any, any, anyone can cheat. my big protein folding going. Start with a linear chain of amino acids, bro. Uh, you didn't like that I put them? All right, all right, we can make it more linear. Will that upset you less? You don't like that I just shoved everything randomly? All right, we'll start with a linear chain. To be fair, the other guys started with a linear chain. 
All right, linear chain, bro. How many angstroms apart are they? Correct. All right, all right, all right. You want it neat. All right. To try folding the original. Yeah, the original one works. I mean, what? You just want me to set the. All right, all right. We'll stretch the. We'll stretch it out. Can I put it in some solvent to get proteins to stretch out automatically? Can I do that? All right. Y'all didn't like my random placement of the atoms. Everyone's upset about the random placement of the atoms. You know, that was easy to do. Oh, no wonder it's so cold. I had a friend over, or you have two people in this apartment, you gotta lower the temperature. But solvent is fucking implicit, bro. All right, I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, we gotta flatten it out. It's like paper and origami. All right, all right, all right, we're gonna flatten it out. All right, good, I like the direction we're going here. You guys are doing some good thinking. All right, because yeah, you're right, this protein doesn't look like it wants to fold. All right, well, at least. It's true that the other guys definitely had a flat uh, protein, and I don't have a flat protein, so that's definitely a difference between me and them. And we know that their thingy kind of worked, so, you know. Oh, sad face. Okay, click here, DD. Oh, that was nice. I liked your shortcut key, bro. I like shortcut key, bro. Okay. Well, now there's nothing here because everything's terrible. All right, let's just, fine. Let's just start with an M. No, actually I can't just have an M. But I need an M plus something else. Because if I just have an M, it's gonna give me crap about how you can't put the ox on the last thingy or else it's angry. All right, I'll try an ML, that sounds nice. Okay, okay, all right. I like that it showed up. Pretty nice. Stick a lot of L's on there. Oh, now it's broken. It's good while it lasted. And then it lasted, that good. Yeah, all my atoms are just everywhere. Okay, 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 okay. You can escape DD. Oh, I can escape DD? I guess I'm already... Oh, escape DD? All right, all right, I like this. All right, all right. No bonds. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have my modeler just minimizing the energy, but we should really not do this. I mean, I'm just using a cluster. I'm just like throwing the atoms all in a ball. Because if we do that, we're gonna have to start thinking. And who wants to do that? Oh my god. Okay, I know what the bonds are actually. If natural proteins fold from a straight chain, then you shouldn't be able to denature them because heating a dilute solution. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I have an idea. Let's make it warm. You know? Let's fold, but let's say the temperature is 800 degrees. Is that gonna make my protein flat? Let's go. Look at how much energy it has, crazy amounts. Is that gonna make it flat? Whoa. It's really vibrating all over the place. It's denaturing, it's denaturing.
It's pretty warm. Okay, we're gonna go for more steps on that. One million steps. Here we need to fix it so I don't do this. But then I need to like think about where I'm putting the atoms and stuff, and that's hard. Bonds are defined by the force field by atom distance, bro. All right, let's go look at the force field. We have a force field, I know what that is now. Let's look at the data. the mass. Oh, we can figure out wait, why do they have stupid names? Oh, the atom tells me it's type. Let's look at Matt. The type and then they tell me the bond. So that's a type 576 hydrogen, I say. That's a nitrogen. Oh, it's a nitrogen too. Just must have type of Okay. Oh, look, it tells me the bond. We know the length. Okay, okay, I get what we're doing here. If we know the bond, oh, but then I have to parse more shitty XML. K2, what's a proper? Periodic torsion forces. Let's see how my denaturing protein's going. I was just killing my battery. Hey guys, you know what's easier than folding proteins? Unfolding proteins. This is what happens when you boil a protein. Actually, we could have picked a realistic boiling temperature and not 800 degrees Kelvin, which is a little unrealistic. Boiling in Kelvin, which isn't it just 373? I can't spell boiling, boiling, yeah, 373. All right, let's try a more reasonable temperature of 373 and see if it still boils. Let that fold. Oh, this one. Oh, look at how many steps it's done. Wow, so many steps. Do you think it folded yet? Who thinks it folded? Or who thinks my initial conditions are too shady for it to fold? Fold yet? I must report that the protein did not fold. Did this one unfold at the much more reasonable temperature of boiling? Hmm. It doesn't unfold that much at boiling. Okay, guys, alpha fold is stupid. Alpha fold's not a good way to solve this problem. I know about alpha fold, I've read the paper. The problem with alpha fold is twofold. One, it's supervised learning. They're just learning to predict the sequences based on the existing structure of proteins, which is all well and good if all you're trying to do is get a slightly new protein. But the truth is any protein we can get the structure of, we can already study with x-ray crystallography, so it's not that useful. Problem number two with AlphaFold is it still isn't that good. While it does better than the other things at that competition, the other things at that competition are written by noobs, and they're basically just database searches and copy-pasting machines. 
do a tier of these fold solutions. Molecular dynamics folding, everything else. This is top tier. This is like being Pikachu in Smash Brothers 64. This is like being, being, being Marth in, in Smash Brothers Melee. This is like being the Ice Climbers never because they suck. We need good in solution models. <laughs> Crystallography is a solid state distortion. Yeah, we need good in solution models, I agree. Which is like, this is in solution, apparently. Apparently this solvent is fucking implicit, bro. <laughs> That's what I heard. Okay, we're boiling my protein. It's kind of boiling. It's not turning into a straight line, I must say, though. Okay, but we can't just place the atoms randomly. I understand. Are you using conjugate gradient? I don't know. You can read my code. I'm using the Langevin interpreter. Is the Langevin interpreter a good one? I also got rid of my non-bonded method because it was complaining yesterday. Langevin. What, what about Methioni? <laughs> was saying that one right? Um, wait, what if I just don't do that? Particle positions have not been set. Okay, we have to set the particle positions. Okay. Are you guys telling me that I actually have to write the code to interpret the force field? And like, what's a sigma? Sigma and epsilon? using conjugate gradient minimization. I'm not trying to minimize the energy. I'm trying to simulate the dynamics so the protein will fold like it does in nature. I don't want to use convex optimization. Oh no. No, I have to like know angles and stuff. class it is. Oh, I guess that's just like the name of the atom. So if like I had a C to a... Oh. I feel like angles right and stuff. There, there has to be code that already does this already. Try folding at absolute zero temperatures. I know exactly what it's gonna do at absolute zero. I did study that in physics. Who wants to try the absolute zero experiment? Can't believe we actually did this experiment. Oh look, it doesn't move at all. Well, wow, that's a cold protein. Look at that cold, pro Wait, it's moving? Why is it moving? Doesn't this protein know about absolute zero? Oh, it's not really absolute zero. What a good molecular dynamic simulator. You see, you can't actually make stuff in shivering. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you guys, you can't actually make stuff go to absolute zero. Everyone knows this. Because if you had something that was actually absolute zero, uh, the quantums would be upset because then you'd know where it is. So I don't know if the simulator actually takes into account quantum effect. Katron N95, thank you for gifting subs to people. I appreciate it. Um, have you tried denaturing by changing the pH level? I don't know how to change the pH level. I only know how to change the temperature because I found that because I put that in my Linkjevian integrator. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know anything. And then I'm a BioScript kitty. But that's just what I am. One day I won't be a BioScript kitty anymore, though. One day I'll know bio. One day I won't pronounce it. Methioni. All right, let's see the default yet. I don't understand. Do you really think that my initial condition is the problem? Like, I don't think if I stretch it out, it's really going to make a difference. To be fair, I agree with you that it comes out in nature, mostly stretched out. Just use amber tea leaf, bro. What's amber tea leaf? Oh, amber tleep. Let's try amber tleep. The leap program. Files used in Amber. can add hydrogen atoms to the protein system using the H++ web server. Smaller step size and more compute. No, please, anything but that. My poor GPU is screaming already. Matthew 9. Matthewoni. Check it out, Lamps MD. No, I, I'm fine with OpenMM. All I want is something that's gonna straighten out my protein. Well, I'm really not sure if it matters. Like it seems like it wiggles around enough, but I don't think it matters. Pull at both ends. I mean, yes, I want to pull at both ends. Can I do that? Wait, can I do that with the... Okay, I have an idea. I, I know, I, I don't, don't. I know the protein's mocking me. Wait, I have an idea about how to actually pull at both ends. Straighten down is an unrealistically high energy starting place. We added heat to denature the protein. Yeah, it all looks like a bunch of tools cobbled together. Yeah. To change the pH level, you just need to... Just simulate it folding as it exits the ribosome. Yeah, that's my dream, bro. That's my dream. All right. <laughs> Who wants to see what happens when I put the temperature to 10,000? Is that what we want?
I don't think the force field was designed for this. Oh yeah, well, that's what happens. I mean, we could probably straighten out if we use like a sufficiently strong electrical force on the ends, you know? Okay, this is at a thousand Kelvins. I mean, it definitely denatures. Whoa, straightens out pretty well. Except those things are still near each other. We're trying to simulate an atom by atom. How is the protein alive? Guys, we are the simulation right now. Add that to the solvent. I don't know how to add things like that. Let's look at what it is. What does denaturing protein mean? Just means to unfold. Oh, it does look so denatured protein. I see. That looks pretty denatured to me. Wait, you think if I let it go now and I put it back, it'll refold? Like what if I change the temperature now that this is done? We might have to edit out a bunch of the... I think we're gonna have to. Think it's gonna renature? Hmm. Looks somewhat hopeful. We just pour more compute at it and see what happens. done with that it's never gonna fold right all 
I mean, let's just look and make sure it didn't actually fold, but. Our longest compute yet did not fold the protein. All right, so we loaded up the denatured protein. We're going to see if it renatures now. I'm pouring a lot of compute into it. Wait, does that work in real life? I don't know if that works in real life. Do denatured proteins stay denatured? Radiation and heat, okay, we added heat. Protein denaturation is also. We can look in the papers and see how they laid out their stuff initially. Ah, in many cases, denaturization is reversible. Get stuck at a local minimum. Wow, it really can that can happen. I mean, if this can't refold my protein, I don't, I really don't think it's a starting condition problem, you know? The misfold back up into a fucked up structure. Yeah, I know if you boil an egg, I know this. You're not sure if the 1000K one is reversible. Well, I don't know how to make them straight very easily. Sounds really hard. Let's see what the papers have to say. Social interactions. Three strand beta sheet peptide. Thirty two five residues with the unique three helix architecture. All atom ones using both Cindy and Remdy. Oh, 
they used Amber FF3. Oh. This is exciting. Should we try Amber FF3? Who thinks that one works better? It's kind of like it wants to fold back, I think. Look at that, it's folding back. Yeah, maybe not. Why are you guys talking about Vim? Let's try a different force field. Try from, or should we try from the DNA chip? Well, I really like Scratch because it moves all over the place. Hmm. This force field seems more plausible too. Like because okay, look, the denatured one got negative, got negative that. Oh, this is getting similar. Okay, I guess it's just a different... Wow, the denatured one actually has lower energy. Okay, maybe it doesn't renature. Maybe I destroyed it. Maybe my 1,000 Kelvin was too much for it. Let's do my citation. Bro, protein does not fold by itself. I don't know how to do born. I definitely don't have a Baron's Den's thermostat. The time step was set to two femtoseconds. That's the same. The coordinates were saved every 10 picoseconds. Mm, is that the same? What am I saving them? Yeah, about the same. So that's minus 50 picoseconds. The simulations. Whoa. It took 15 minutes and the total computer time required. Hmm, WTF. Whoa. That's fancy. Let's see, is it folding? This, I like this force field better. Doesn't it look better? Doesn't that look more like it's gonna fold? It's like hooked on itself. <laughs> fold. All right, look, I want it to be stretched out as much as the next guy, but I don't really know how to do that. It just looks like it has less FPS. Ugh. Do 
we want more FPS, I can get us more FPS. Guess all the FPS you want. All right, well they, that was every 50, so we're gonna just do right every, that's better. Now it gets more FPS. Is this actually enough steps? Microseconds. Talking about DEF CON, bro. Hacking is dead. I mean, hacking is alive, but like, organized hacking is dead. Kind of like religion. Oh, I didn't download it. But I upped the FPS just so you guys could see beautiful. Uh... I and mean, now we have to download it since it's so much more FPS. But oh no, is this going to make me run out of space on my hard drive? Do you like the more FPS? Oh, it's struggling. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's just like wrapped up on itself and struggling. Look at it struggle. That does not look like it's going to fold anytime soon. Looks like it's crappily folded and struggling. Why are we folding this shit in fucking protein? <laughs> Why do we do anything, bro? Oh, look at it. Struggle. Oh, it's like, oh, I'm gonna fold, but psych, not really. Wait, how much space is this gonna take up? If we're saving every 10 picoseconds and we're folding for five milliseconds, it's gonna be like gigabytes. Do I have that many gigabytes? Okay, fine, we'll put it somewhere I have lots of gigabytes. I have 2.7 terabytes free on that hard drive, so, you know. Oh, look, this one looks less wrapped up on itself. Despite setting the random seed the same, it seems like the random is actually different. Oh, come on, that, that's, that, look, how, look how unfolded that is. That's just begging to fold. Okay, so I think now we just have to wait because we use the right force field. <laughs> um... I don't know. Should we, uh, maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll watch the video of a fully folded protein after this thing finishes, which will be done in 1.1 days according to my math. I know, it's begging to fold. It's gonna take five milliseconds, it said. HP35 is one of the most studied proteins in the field of protein folding. Nonetheless, controversy still exists regarding the folding mechanism of this protein. If you have the folded structure, you can use RSMD as a metric to see if you're heading in the right direction, bro. We could do that, but that's cheating. 
I mean, I don't know. Maybe we should do that. Maybe that's what we'll do on Can We Fold a Villain Protein Part 2. Perhaps tomorrow. <laughs> oh, this is a big file now. We did the hype train today. You missed that. All right. Do we have Q&A tonight? I don't know if we have Q&A for the Can We Fold a Protein. The answer is, the answer to the Can We Fold a Villain Protein is we will find out tomorrow after this computes for 1.1 days. Oh, look, 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 look at that deformation. Oh, that's beautiful. Do we need more CUDAs? Is that the problem? I have more CUDAs. Does more CUDAs make it fold faster? Can I up the FPS? I don't know what that does. Oh, full screen. I don't think my IO, it's it's a hundred meg file. I really don't think uh, my my MacBook Pro 16 inch can't load. Can I slow it down? I don't think it's folding yet. I think it's gonna take a day. I think folding proteins is really slow. Protein bro be folding, I think, maybe. All right. Let's, uh, if, if we have any good questions, we'll do Q&A if there's good questions for today. Otherwise, that's today's stream. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I, bro, bro, it might fold. It's going to take a while. I don't know how long it's going to take to fold. These are the things we don't know. But the things that we do know is that it's going to take a day if it does fold. What if it hits? I mean, I don't know. It's like writing a crypto brute forcer. You don't know if you did it right? Except for the fact that there's actually a lot we could do to know if we did it right, but we'll do that tomorrow if we have to. Where did I learn the biochemistry? Watch the last six streams I did. How much money do I have in my bank account? I have at least three dollars. Look, it's getting like kind of tangled on itself, I think. Let's let's uh as as a closing graphic. Oh my god. Let's add licorice. Perfect. Why do you have a bed in the kitchen? Can I upload the Jupyter file? I'm not uploading the Jupyter file. It's too shitty to upload. Jupyter sucks to upload, but I did do the, uh, I, I up, all the folder is uploaded. And if you really want the thing that views it, it's just that. Let's see what other ad representations we can get. It's just NGL view. Cartoon. Licorice. Mm. Hyperballs. I want hyperballs. Contact? That doesn't look that cool. Hyperballs? Where's the hyperballs?
distance dot, oh, hyperball. That just looks like licorice. It looks cool in licorice because it's hyperball, but. Point representation. Oh, ribbon. Is ribbon cool? I think I already had ribbon. Rocket? Rope. Huh. Surface. Whoa. That one takes a long time to render. Helix Orient. Lame. Nah, this one's the best one. Now let's fast forward to where we were in the movie. Mm. Hyperball was kind of disappointing. Crowdsource GPUs. Well, see, the thing about crowdsourcing GPUs is I think we can just try to fold more proteins. I'm not sure we could fold this protein faster. Can I do D, G, D, G, S, E? I don't know what those are. I don't know, most of economics is a scam, especially macroeconomics. Oh, well, so the business has the boom and bust cycle and you just have to look at the S curves over the 50 years, it's all bullshit. Oh, they always have these ideas about like the cycles of business and stuff. I don't know, I just don't like I don't believe in any of them. Does it look more folded now than it did before? About the lunar cycle. I mean I think the lunar cycle is real. Uh, guys, you know, I just, I just, uh, I was looking at some uh, charts and uh, graphs this morning, and uh, I'd like to inform you guys that uh, we're in a recession. Uh, as you can see, the graph went uh, down. Uh, economists have been predicting this. Economists have been predicting this for for a long time now. Yet yeah, we knew we knew the recession was coming. We just didn't know uh, when. Uh, but, you know, overall, markets usually go up, so that's pretty good. Markets are usually a good place to, to have your, your, your money. You see, sometimes we have recessions, but overall, they look very small. This was a big one. This was a big, a big bust. Uh, yeah, but this one is a new recession. We have, we have a new recession here, but soon it'll be a green, and the recession will be fixed. Yeah, I didn't even watch Mad Money this morning. I think that's pretty much exactly what they said. <laughs> do I think the scammers know they're bullshitting people or do they actually believe it? I don't know. <laughs> I think they don't really understand what truth is. So no, I, I don't think they actively think that they're bullshitting people but I think that they have like a poor understanding of truth. 
And by the way, not all economics is junk. There is like a lot of sensible. Here, you want sensible economics? Um, if you invest in something that brings returns, your money goes up. Like, for example, if you're a country and you invest in infrastructure, great investment. Um, if you invest in long term things, great investment, right? Um, like, it's, it's, there's economic truths, but they're like simple supply and demand, right? No, no, you gotta buy low and sell high, get in early, buy the dip, you know? Uh, no, but like economics and psychology, uh, I don't know. Who watches CNBC? And what does this thing do? Oh, it loops the animation, I get it. Oh, this is really lagging now. Oh, look at that lag. Two FPS on that protein, bro. No, I don't watch Trump's Daily News update. I heard it was an infomercial. <laughs> Oh, the current models of deaths? Yeah, they're probably right. Teams of, I, I did the math at the end of it and I got 160,000, which is like right in the middle of their other models. Um, I just, I assumed that half of the city of Wuhan had been infected and then extrapolated from there and you get 160,000 deaths. All right, we're gonna watch this video and I think that's gonna be the end of the stream. What do I think about Dr. Fauci? Love him or hate him? I don't have a strong opinion either way. I'm sure he's doing an acceptable political job at whatever his position is. You know, that's how I feel about politics in general. Do you love Trump or hate Trump? I mean, I'm kind of neutral. You don't hear from all the neutral people, you know? Because all the people who love somebody or hate somebody are posting online, but a lot of people are just kind of like neutral. Um, is China passing USA as the world's superpower? Pro, I don't know. What's the GDP? Is the GDP real? Yo, they should hook me up with a, a sponsor link for the chair, if that's true. It doesn't look very folded to me. It looks kind of unfolded. No, I don't think there's gonna be riots. I mean, if 10 people riot, the media will tell us about how riots are happening everywhere and, you know. Will we see a video of a riot in the next month? Yes. Will there be widespread riots that you'll be able to see yourself? No. <laughs> if there was a riot, I'd participate. I'm not scared of coronavirus. I wouldn't be like, oh no, I might get infected. Why only Americans get free money? So I don't know, where are you from? You didn't get any free money? You go ask your government for free money. By the way, it's not free money. The government takes 40% of your money and then gives you back 2%. Like. Honestly, imagine someone comes up to you in the hallway and is like, bro, give me your lunch money. And you give him 10 bucks. And then he hands you a dollar back and you're like, well, thanks for the dollar. No, nobody ever said that. <laughs> Russia, you don't get free money. I don't know. Email Putin, say, hey, can I have some free money, bro?
Um, I don't know. Do I feel Bergen County Academies was a good opportunity for me? The fuck? Do I think this is just an opportunity? No, what's the political saying? Never waste a good crisis? Yeah, whenever there's a crisis, these fucks are always thinking about how they're gonna profit. Do I think children should go to school? I don't think I'm gonna cure aging. I'm just trying to fold one pro to... Would I donate Kamei 3D printer time to print ventilator tubes? If I thought I could actually be useful, I'd be useful. Um, I don't think anything Com AI's 3D printers print would actually be very useful. I think the most useful thing we can print is Kama 2's. Capitalism or socialism? What's the difference? It's all a spectrum, right? I'm not sure what you mean by capitalism. Socialism is capitalism. I don't know why people think socialism is not capitalism for some reason. Oh, sweet. We have double more movie to watch. I love torrenting this movie. I am going to start. I, I'm going to start listening to the portal. I'm not a libertarian. Why do you think I'm a libertarian? He's libertarian. No, I'm not anything. I have a wide variety of opinions on many different things. I agree with libertarians on some things. I agree with conservatives on other things. And I agree with progressives on even some other things. And I am an American. That is definitely true. No, I'm not a moderate. Instead of a moderate, I have some very extreme positions. Like that I'd like to abolish intellectual property. I don't think any of the, the Aryans are talking about that. Should you give up on your PhD? I don't know. Yo, yeah, buy a sale chair, man. I'm not debating anybody on IP. You don't have to agree with me. It's just like, we're not gonna win. The way that you win the IP battle is not, and the way that you win any battle, right? It's an Andrew Breitbart quote actually. Uh, Politics is downstream of culture. Um, you don't win any of these battles in the political arena. You win them in the cultural arena. Do I live on the fringe of society? What, you mean in my, in my high-rise apartment building in San Diego with my 16-inch MacBook Pro, my iPhone 11 Pro with three cameras, you know, wearing, wearing $200 hoodies? Do I look like I live on the fringes of society? Oh. I don't know. Alex bought it for me. You don't remember Alex? I live in Narnia. I'm in the cloud, bro. What a trailer. Best country other than the US. Um, I like. As far as countries I feel that I could actually like live in and integrate pretty well with the population, I like the UK, I like the Netherlands. Um, as far as countries where I could live for a while, uh, I like Japan, I like Malaysia. Yeah, those ones probably. Uh, I'm an Australian citizen. Uh, I like Australia. I mean, I'm sure I could live there. Uh, 
Probably New Zealand as well. Uh, my only experience with Switzerland is that it was really expensive. Um, thanks for the bet, Sam. On the fringe, bro. I'm on the fringes of society. Uh, yeah, I put the groceries away. I had a girl come over, so I had to clean the apartment. She'd judge me if I had groceries out. Yeah, the hoodies in Switzerland are probably four hundred dollars. It's probably true. Will you do a podcast once every two weeks? Oh, if you book guests for me, I'm not doing that. GG, thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Whoa, we got a hype train going. Do I ever use clout to get girls? I don't think it works, bro. Uh, you know, yo, level one hype train. When we talk about a girl coming over, is it always a new girl? No, no, just like a rotation. Do I think corona deaths really matter? Oh, there's an interesting thing about how, like, CDC numbers show that deaths are down by, uh, by 10,000. Um, oh, I mean, rotation sounds. Um, that's, that's, the, it, uh, you, you know what I mean. Everybody, everybody does this these days. <laughs> Um, no, like honestly, ever since you could get girls on the internet, there's plenty of girls on the internet now. It's great. If I had to like go to bars and meet girls, I think that'd be, uh, that'd be hard. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you just got to practice at it. When do we think we'll reach the apex of the curve? I don't know, like two weeks. You can look, they're already flattening out. I don't pay for these girls. They're friends of mine. Uh, where are there girls on the internet? If there's an ad, probably not. You know where there's a lot of girls? Instagram. Why do you think I cared about my Instagram followers? <laughs> um, but it would be nice to have a, a blue check mark, you know? Is that what you mean by clout? No, nah, I don't use clout. I mean, I'm saying like, you know, you tell you tell girls like, oh man, I was sued by Sony for hacking the PlayStation. That, that doesn't really work that well. Thank you for subscribing. I don't know if it's gonna fold, bros. I think it's gonna take a day. Staff in the chat? Who's staff? I always think they're coming for me. Staff. Oh, I like the affection. The best pickup line? Are pickup lines even real? It's the feds of Twitch. I'm always watching out for the feds. What if it fails to fold? Then my three hours of time will be in vain and I'll feel like a failure. Give me 300 bits, thank you. Hide the mediocrity, boy, staff is here. Oh, I like that, I like that. Uh, yo, can we get the hype train? Can we keep it going? We got two minutes, we're 39%. We'll keep the stream going as long as the hype train keeps going. Do I know Jude Gomla? No. Alex? Alex is a good friend of mine. We were really like Alex, she bought me this hoodie. Brian Cantrell? No, I feel like I have heard that name before. Favorite video game? Smash Bros. 64. What have I regretted most in the past five years? I mean, I for a while I said starting a company. Uh, I would really advise everybody not to start a company. 
I want to go on speaking tours and be like an anti-motivational speaker. Um, but I don't know. I'm not really sure what else I would have done. But maybe I'll just say this now because it's profitable. When it wasn't profitable, I really regret doing it. Staff is here and subscribed. Sweet. Uh, why would I advise against it? Yeah. There's a lot of downside with not that much upside. Um, everything's kind of your fault and you have to deal with everything. Uh, and it's, it's just, it's a responsibility and a burden. You know, that's the, the beauty of being a startup employee versus, uh, be, uh, versus starting the company is when you're a startup employee, you know, you can quit. Um, and the company will continue on. It's harder. Well, yeah, the potential payoff is tremendous, but sweet. Uh, yeah, it's like owning a home. Yeah, and I wouldn't really want home ownership. I don't want to have uh, children. So yeah, I really, um, if you have another option, don't start a company. So yeah, I would say that's, I don't know. I don't know, you say like, what's my biggest regret? I don't know if I really regret it. Like I did what I did and that's like my life, right? Um, maybe it's Stockholm Syndrome. Oh, I'm glad you liked Prime Intellect. Oh, you wouldn't choose the end. Well, think about the end a bit more. I interpret the end, I interpret the end, when I first read it, I took the end very literally, and then I thought about it as I got older and I realized what the end really was. All right, the questions are getting worse. Is hacking profitable? Prime intellect wouldn't allow that ending to be real. Well, that's kind of what I think, but. Uh, I've watched VR porn, yeah, I wasn't that impressed. I met Emmett Shear. Who's Emmett Shear? Oh, see so you on Twitch, yeah. I started VR porn? No. No, I can't say I have. Uh, that that's and look up Jude Gomila. What will be the benefit for channel subscribers when I take over the world? Jagger, RSW, how long have you been a subscriber? Do you want Kazakhstan? Do you want to rule Kazakhstan? I'll give you Kazakhstan. I don't know who this is. <laughs> I'm just imagining like Roche Pharmaceuticals trying to interact with the Ethereum blockchain. Um, everyone's really hyped on this Ethereum 2.0. I don't know. Are they still trying to do proof of stake? I think proof of stake is pretty dumb. This looks mad complex. Oh no, Vitalik is also a genius, so. Sharding stuff makes sense.
Oh, it's all just about sharding. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. No, if you if you could get Ethereum, if you could build an Ethereum computer that 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 scales better, that gives you like a thousand x the compute, I think there could be a lot of, of use cases. My thousand x more computer, I also mean like a thousand x cheaper, a thousand x faster. <laughs> You're really shilling for Cardano. Thousand X less decentralized. Oh yeah, you gotta make trade-offs, right? Engineering is all about trade-offs. Maybe Ethereum's a little too decentralized already. Proof of stake is finished. No, proof of stake doesn't work. Every proof of stake thing I've ever seen turns into like more and more complexity being tacked on to fix problems. And then they think that they've fixed all the problems, but like there's more because there's so much complexity, but just nobody can find them anymore. Um, Dow broke Ethereum. I don't think that Dow broke Ethereum. I mean, I wouldn't have hard for it, but that's just me. <sighs> all right, all right. Good stream. That's the stream. That's the questions. Tomorrow, we're going to find out if the protein folds. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for being on this stream with me. I really appreciate you all, except I appreciate the subscribers more. So if you're not a subscriber, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you don't follow with the notifications, make sure to the notification button, wherever it is on your computer, if it's over here or if it's over here, I'm shilling for, for growth. Tomorrow we find out, does the protein fold? Everybody in your prayers, if you'd like to, after you get through all the things that you usually pray for, like love and peace and the end of coronavirus, maybe at the end you know, pray the protein folds a little bit too. I like that. That sounds nice. Um, <laughs> shilling voice is lifeless. <laughs> it's my mockery of YouTubers. I, honestly, I don't really care. I don't really care if you subscribe or you click the notification button. Uh, I do these streams mostly because it's just people to hang out with and talk to. And like, I get some, I get a link to some good stuff. Um, what time tomorrow? I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. Uh, good night, everybody. If I made mistakes, please file issues on Corona. <laughs>